Hey everybody, I thought it was far too long since we revisited our favorite friends to the north, Canada. I got this 2018 IMP from our friends at Foreign MRE, Art and Nina. Thank you very much for sending this to me. I ultra, super, mega appreciate it. This is menu number nine, chicken and vegetable stew. Again, it's pretty nondescript packaging. They do have their awesome little seal on the back. It's got that QR code and even a Facebook link. But outside of that, there's really nothing else on this packaging. Let's grab this on the back. I got my mini tough light. Slice that up. And see what we've got inside. And one of the reasons why I wanted this, <laughs> of all things, and you you have to be a ration enthusiast, was the bloody spoon. <laughs> Go figure that, huh? We're always checking out how spoons are. Let's pull this stuff out of here. Still not everything. Still not everything. Now that's everything out of the packaging. So what do we have? Kit Kat bar. Outstanding. A Nescafe, sweet and creamy. I'm assuming this is like a three-in-one coffee drink. Two things of peanut butter. Two ice drinks. And I think the reason why they put two of these in here is each one of these only makes 250 mil. So with both of these, you get 500. Raspberry jam. Frank's Red Hot. Some matches. Wow, this is the first, a compressed napkin. Just add water. It kind of sounds counterproductive to add water to a napkin, seeing how you're trying to. Well, anyway, we'll try that out. For dessert, we get some sliced apples. Of course, our napkin paper towels. And the new spoon. I'm quite fond of this. It looks like it's a little longer than the MRE spoon, and it has a spork on here. It almost looks identical to the brown spoon except for the spork. Beverage bag. Chicken and stewed vegetables. The hamburger bun. Chocolate nut mix. That's something different. And lastly some Tic Tacs. Well, let's get this stuff made up. And just uh, to let you all know from some feedback, I know some of you like the music montage of me putting this all together and some don't. Uh, don't fret. I'll be mixing it up here or there, back to my old school ways. But honestly, to tell you all, that montage makes editing so much easier. And while I'm on my soapbox, I just want to reiterate this. These date codes, the last two rations, I mean, I was, it was a crapshoot of when they were made. This five-digit date code, it's impossible not to get the correct date. This was made in, of course, 2017 on the 304th day. It's bulletproof. Why everybody isn't using this system of date codes, I have no idea. I will never understand it. But this is probably the best date code system in use today.
and we're back let me toss our spoon on there and of course we still have this napkin that we will use somehow and let me pour our glace drink that is a curious shade of blue and then of course we still have some more left because we made both packets the one thing these rations don't have anymore are any spices i didn't see any sugar or any salt but inside of this chicken of course it's like breast meat or white meat that has peas carrots and potatoes in there as well and it says it has a little bit of garlic powder herbs and spice extract whatever whatever that is and while this is still piping hot, I can grab, try to grab a little bit of everything. A little bit of chicken. Some that nice little white sauce. It has a very nice flavor. It is a little salty, so I can understand why you don't have a spice packet. But it needs something else. It needs a little zip. So let's put a little Franks on here. Honestly, I think some nice black pepper would do the trick but we will put this Franks right on this side and we'll give that a go. And again, if you want to, some people can mix their stuff in. I like having my hot sauce right on top so I can get the full effect of that flavor. Well, the hot sauce really does a lot to pull it together, but there's one thing. When I had my first bite, I just had a small piece of chicken and it was relatively tender. When I went over here and had one of these larger bits, it was very chewy, very stringy. So you're definitely going to get different bits of multiple chickens and different temps. So keep that in mind. And this is dying for a crunch component, like crackers or something would be perfect. I decided to toast this up and I made a grilled PB&J. I don't know if you've ever had that or even heard of it, but these things are absolutely awesome. So I guess in a way, if you wanted to, you could really toast the heck out of these and possibly turn these into a crouton. Mmm. That's really good. I know I just said really good, but that thing is incredibly good. With the heat from the toasted bread, with a hamburger bun, has made that peanut butter just kind of melt into this creamy, gooey yumminess. And it just absorbed that raspberry jam. Oh, man. You can see a little bit of that raspberry leaking out. Oh, boy, this is really good. I grew up with these, so I really appreciate these. Mmm. Boy, that's so good. I'm going to just try just a little more of this. Maybe get a little bit of everything in here. Come on, carrot. He's not going to get away. Mmm. So far, not too shabby. Let's try our, I don't know, what, this is a creamy, I don't know, just coffee. Mmm. It's not too bad. It is a little sweet. It's not necessarily my most favorite kind of coffee. And when I was mixing this glaze, this is not really my most favorite sports drink either. The flavor in this, why, if I was in the field, I would drink it. But I don't know. It just kind of has like a little sharpness to it that I don't particularly care for. But that's just my opinion. The one thing that I am a huge fan that the Canadians do is they put some kind of wet fruit pack or fruit component inside of all their rations. I don't necessarily consider this a dessert, but I do applaud that they put pears or peaches or something like that in all their rations. I think the U.S. needs to step up and do the same. Mmm. These are nice and... They actually have a bite to them. They're not just soft and... Oh, these are really good. I enjoy I mean, it actually tastes like a legit, relatively new pear. It still has that nice little bit of crunch to it. Mm. Now, this chocolate nut mix, I guess it could be loosely termed as chocolate because it does have some of these chocolate bits in it. However, there's not very many. It's mostly dried cranberries, almonds with some pistachios inside. We'll grab one of those chocolate bits so you can take a good. And down the hatch. And even these, kind of discovered on my own, 
These are chocolate coated cranberries. So keep that in mind. It's unsalted. The chocolate is like a dark chocolate and it kind of gets onto everything when you start chewing it. But until you do that, you have that light pistachio flavor until you start kind of rehydrating, rehydrating those cranberries. And then you get that nice flavor. These are actually pretty darn good. So I have no complaints about them. Of course, we have the Kit Kat. Can't go wrong with a Kit Kat bar. Get out of there. Still got to figure out how to use that. And if you weren't inclined, you could always take your second packet of peanut butter, that's if you didn't need it, and you could put some on your Kit Kat bar. Kind of like this. Mmm. Well, we're stop, still chewing that. Let's throw a few of these in there. Too. Wow, that really works good. Wow. So I suppose you could use your peanut butter with this, too. Very tasty. Try another bite of that. Mm. Actually, I think this is my favorite thing. And then out of the Tic Tac pack, you get four Tic Tacs. I have to admit, I miss the gum. I would rather have the gum. Now, I have seen these things that are like camp towels or something like that, but this is the first time that I've ever seen it like this small. And it just says, add water. Oh, look, there's even a little, little maple leaf on there. It says add water, but it doesn't tell you how much water to add. I guess not that much. Just dip it in. Oh, wow, that is kind of cool. And it just keeps on, uh, well, maybe, unfolding and unfolding. Wow. Dude, that is kind of cool. Wow. You can really get your hands, and it's, it's some tough fabric, too. Hmm. Wow. What a neat little thing. Well, this was really cool. I really like my spoon. I like everything else. Well, everybody, thanks to Art and Nina for sending this to me. I got to finally do a 2018 IMP. This was, of course, menu number nine chicken and vegetable stew. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all on my next review. Bye.